Well, the El Paso School District training new crossing guards this morning. This following the death of a seven-year-old girl killed while walking to school in October. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap was at that training. She is live for us tonight. The El Paso Independent School District is looking for more volunteers to help children cross the street to school every day, as you mentioned. And today, the district held a cross guard training at Oren Roberts Elementary School, the school where seven year old Alexa Barrera was killed back on October 9th. The training was for anyone looking to volunteer. EPISD didn't allow us to speak with those taking the class, but the district did tell us it offers several trainings per year at different locations and says every campus is different. Some schools have the budget for hired guards, others rely on volunteers. EPISD says if you'd like to help, just speak with the principal of the school at which you'd like to volunteer. We want to make sure that we have uh, as many intersections covered, uh, uh, and, and this is part of the process for us to make sure that students are safe, that parents feel comfortable uh, with their kids walking to school, and that uh, we have a safe learning environment for our students. School districts like Socorro ISD have five paid crossing guards at every school because they say it's hard to find volunteers willing to come three different times during the day. But they too are also always looking for volunteers. Now I'm actually here at Horizon Heights Elementary School, which is in the Socorro Independent School District. And the SISD police chief tells me that he wants to remind everyone to be cautious when driving in school zones, even during the holiday break, saying students are going to the campus for activities activities year round reporting live in Horizon City Shelby Cap KTSM 9 News All right Shelby thank you very much